Hi, I'm Niels and today I will show you how to get with XStadia and XPost Google Stadia running on any Android phone which is rooted and playing with data on Google Stadia. Let's get started. So the first thing you need is a root and you need Magis root because otherwise this whole thing won't work. This isn't the build props method. The only way to play Google Stadia on Android phones right now which don't have root is to play it in the Chrome browser but in the app it's I would say a lot better. So go to Magisk, go to the downloads and search for add X post. There are just is just one difference between the Java variant and the Sandhook variant. The only thing is that Java uses Java and Sandhook uses Sandhook. So these are the two modules. Uh, but first, you need Rio. You need the Rio core. Just go in the app, and press that button, and uh, go to the newest release, Rio 19.5. Go to Assets and then download the zip file here and download and here go back to Magisk go to modules and press the plus button allow that and put in the real core 19.5 and reboot so when your phone is rebooted up go back to Magisk now you can install, when Magisk is loaded up, you can install the edX post module. So search for edX post. Uh, I will use Java, but I think you can just use both of these modules. Go and press install. This will pretty fast load and then it's done. Now we can re reboot the device a second time. So when your phone is back up, go back to Magisk a third time, go to the modules and no, 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 uh, go, go to downloads because you have to press on it. And then you can go here to usage and go to X at X post manager. This will lead up to a GitHub page where you can just download, go to the assets and download the APK because you need it now. Press OK three or four megabytes, open it. First you have to allow install unknown apps and install the edX post manager. And now you have edX post. Um, be careful, but edX post should pass safety net. I first of all wouldn't recommend doing that on a, your main device with all the banking apps like PayPal, if you use Google Pay, Samsung Pay or something. Um, but this should normally pass it. It's installed but not active. Okay, X at X post framework is now active. Um, the clue here was that I had to give it super user access and reboot the device a second time. Uh, I will link you an XDA developers article with all this setup if you want to read it uh, in the description. But here you have to go to check XStadia in the forums. There is the guy who programmed that, Amin Elzumi, I hope I said the name right. He's the developer of the edX post module. Go here to downloads and then you can go to the edX post repo here you have the xstadia model module and here you can download the apk okay and go to details it should download pretty fast and here you can install the apk press done so here in the modules, just activate then XStadia and then you can go up here, reboot and press the reboot button. Are you sure? Okay. So when the device is rebooted 
and at expose or X, uh, the X Stadia module is activated and at expose, you can just go into the Stadia app. And play Google Stadia on this phone, on this screen. Um, yes, that's it. Like, you can now play Google Stadia, all your favorite Stadia apps in the app, right, right where you want it, on your phone. And without Wi-Fi, you can just play it with your mobile data. If you, have, if you live in a country where Google Stadia is, of course, supported. I don't know if it bypasses I would say the geoblocking. If this tutorial helped you please leave a like and share this video with your friends if your friends have Stadia of course do. If you have any questions just write them in the comments I will answer everything I can. Yeah yeah thanks for watching.